back to Legendaries Unleashed. Today I'm going to be opening this Megalodios pin blister, but before I go ahead and do that, there are two things I want to talk about here super quick. So first off, if you watched my channel within the last little while, you know that I opened three tins called the Pokemon Champion tins that we found up here in Canada at Walmart. It had a Gyarados tin, Gengar tin, and Machamp tin. If you haven't seen those videos, I will leave a link in the description below if you'd like to go check them out. Now the cool thing guys is we thought originally you could only get these tins up here in Canada and I asked you to let me know if you've seen them at all and you guys delivered. I've gotten quite a few responses that people are starting to see these show up at Walgreens. Now I think Walgreens is a drugstore but I'm not quite sure because we don't have them up here and I can't, I obviously can't go to one and tell you if they do but if you really liked these tins and are thinking about getting one might be something to go ahead and check out and if you do happen to get one from there go ahead and let me know because you know want to keep everybody in the loop and knowing where to get the stuff and second off guys if you don't follow me on twitter you have not seen this thing and it's so freaking amazing that i just had i had to put it on here i i showed everybody i know because one of the subscribers actually drew me a picture and it's of a pikachu and if you know me you know I love Pikachu, my favorite Pokemon of all time. I know it's a little cliche, but I just love him so much. But this isn't just any Pikachu. You have to check this thing out. I went and printed it off. It's Pikachu cosplaying as my favorite legendary dog, Suicune. This thing is just so adorable. I couldn't help myself. I had to print it off because that's right. I'm going to put it on my wall above my background here because I just love this thing so much. I did go ahead and put their name on the bottom because I want to give credit where credit's absolutely deserved. And I'm not quite sure how to say their name. I think it's LeoGK001. But if you want to go ahead and shoot me a comment, let me know exactly how you pronounce your Twitter slash YouTube name. That'd be super awesome. And I can't thank you enough, man. This thing is so adorable. I just, oh, I'm in love with this picture. So it's going on my wall in the background right above everything here. Now to get to the main thing this super awesome pen blister. So this set comes with one Lad Mega Latios pen, one Roaring Skies pack, one Primal Clash pack, and one Phantom Forces. So I absolutely was super excited when I got this the same time I got those Roaring Skies packs. So this thing was actually on clearance too. I went, I went Pokemon clearance shopping. That's so cool because I did not have this set and I love Mega Latios. And I had debated before on getting it, but I wasn't sure, so I kind of just left it in the store. Let's go ahead and check out the artwork on the back here. We have Mega Rayquaza and Mega Latios. And you know what? I'm done chatting, guys. I'm going to go ahead and break into this thing and show you everything that comes inside. Okay, guys, now that I'm done absolutely destroying that blister pack, we can go ahead and get to the main attraction here. The stuff that comes inside, starting off with a super cool looking Mega Latios pin going to be an absolute awesome addition to the collection. And our three booster packs here. I absolutely love the choices. I'm really excited to see if we can get something cool from this Phantom Forces or even this Roaring Skies. So I think I'm going to start with Primal Clash here. And we're going to work our way over. And surprisingly, no guys, I am not leaving Roaring Skies for last. I absolutely would love to pull like a Mega Gengar card, because I, I think it's, yeah, Mega Gengar that comes in the Phantom Forces set. So we start off with a Repeat Ball, Shrine of Memories, Combuskin, Soul Rock, Mudkip, Trap Inch, Nosepass, Spinda. We have a Reverse Excadrill, which is a rare, guys, that's super cool, and a regular rare Swampert, which, oh, that card just looks weird. <laughs> Let's take a look at that creepy looking. I I think this Swampert, to, to me guys, this Swampert looks a little creepy, but there's always at least one or two cards that I feel in each set are just super, super weird or super creepy. Either the artwork or, you know, the Pokemon. Okay, so moving on to our Roaring Skies pack. Keep your fingers crossed, guys. I'm hoping we're gonna have some good luck here. So we have a Gallade Spirit Link, Dragonair, Switch, Bagon, we have an Electric, Talo, Execute, Fletchling, we have a Reverse Requa Rayquaza Spirit Link, and a, oh nice, that is so awesome guys, a Dragonite Hollow, and it's an Ancient Trait card, these things are so cool, I absolutely love them, 
And I'm, I'm kind of sad they don't even have these cards anymore. I think after Ancient Origins. But these things look so amazing. And he's just like, you know, no, no big deal. I'm just going to smash, smash the ground there. You know, no biggie. Wow, that is a great card to get. Put that to the side. I've decided not to put them in the background because I keep knocking everything over and I keep telling you I'm going to sticky tack or, or something the background and I keep forgetting to do it. So I'm just going to put them down and we'll recap at the very end as always, but hopefully with less incidents. So starting off with a Loudred and I, oh, this artwork is super cute. Roller skates, Fletchender, Seawaddle. Wismer, Zubat, Helioptile, and every time I see this, I think of Professor K from the Pokemon Evolutionaries, guys. We have Swirlix, Wismer Reverse, and a Hollow Gudra. Wow, that's actually really cool. Oh my goodness, I love how, if you look here, oh geez, that thing is so cool. The swirls. Okay, that is really really cool. This is going to be really hard, guys. So let's do our quick recap here. We have a Reverse Excadrill, we have a Hollow Gudra, and we have a Hollow Dragonite. Oh my goodness. Both are really, really great artworks, but I think I'm going to have to go with the Dragonite Ancient Trait card because this thing is just absolutely amazing looking. The background is just completely insane because you've got the island behind the water, it's just overall, wow, this card is beautiful. So that, is, you know, pretty pretty successful opening in my opinion here today, guys. Okay, guys, right here, right now, you should be seeing the random winner to my last set of code cards. I will go ahead and message you sometime today through the YouTube messaging system. For a chance at today's code cards, I want to know, out of Primal Clash, Roaring Skies, and Phantom Forces, which set is your favorite? So all you have to do is leave a comment to that in the comment section below. You do have to be subscribed, guys. Again, if you're under 18, just make sure it's okay with your parents that if you enter, I can go ahead and contact you. I will announce the winner in two days, as always. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. I'll see you next time, guys.